I've got the years and price there. I actually labelled it with the words rather than just X and Y. You remember part of the requirement was you have to write down some kind of variables that match the data you've got, not just X and Y. Okay, so that should be okay. Data's all right. I don't think I've made any mistakes. Quick check to make sure that you've got the same amount of X and Y pairs. If you don't, then it won't graph it. It'll have be a mismatch in dimensions. Yeah, it'll be a bit of a mess. So doc, insert, data and statistics. Remember the common mistake to make is ch doing a graph. We're not drawing a graph. We're fitting models to data. So yeah, we've got to plot the data. So doc, insert, data. And it's all there already. This is years. And this is the house prices. Okay. Now, already visually, I can see what's happened. You know, over the course of the first five years, house prices were dropping. This is real life situation, isn't it? You know, house prices dropping. And then after year six-ish, house prices were rising. Yeah. When I say it's real life, it has happened that way, but usually house prices just keep rising and rising and rising, sometimes spiking. But when I first moved to Dubai in 2008, I got a job in Dubai in February and I looked at the house prices in February of 2008. And for the house I wanted, the rent was 120,000 per year um, dirhams. Okay. When I got there in August, that price had gone to 260,000 for exactly the same property. In the space of six months, rental prices had increased by over 100%. Didn't have a very good first year. Because <laughs> I didn't take the uh, school accommodation, which was provided free. I took an allowance that they gave uh, the family so we could get a slightly bigger place and all that. Yeah. You learn your lesson. Uh, two years later, the house price is bombed by 60%. So it, it's crazy. So, menu. Uh, what was it? Actions or analyze? Or analyze. Regression. And you have a whole bunch of models to choose from. We know it's quadratic, and there it is. And at the moment, you're kind of stuck to then do much else with this. You can fiddle along by tracing points on the graph. But in terms of using the model to find in what year was the minimum house price, and what kind of price was that, okay? So that's the one thing. We can't really do that on this particular uh, visual. The other thing we can't do is have a reference point for how well does the model fit the data. Now, you all know what this value is. It's the R value. Yeah, you've got a regression value. Yeah, we did that when we did our Y equals MX plus C in our linear regression. The same kind of value exists for this guy here. It's called an R squared value. The closer it is to one, the better the fit. Yeah, so there's two things we're going to do now. We're going to go back to actually a calculator page. Uh, doc insert calculator and if you go to menu if you go to the statistics menu and if you go to stat calculations you've got quadratic regression in there so when you open the menu from the calculation page statistics regression the x list now is going to be uh, years the y list is going to be price and look there it is we're going to save the equation to f3 so we can have that house price regression equation on a graph page now and then interpret it however we want. Yeah. But let's finish this off. Okay. And this is everything we could possibly want. Look at the R squared value. The R squared value is 0 0.86. It feels quite close to 1. Therefore, it's quite a good model based on this kind of measure of how well does the model fit the data. And then finally, let's go back to the um, a graph. Now this is F4, but if we go up to, just click a little uppy there, there's F3. Press return, and then we grab, and we move, and we can double click here. What kind of y-axis did we have for the house price data? What do we need to go up to? About 170? Yeah, it's higher than that, so it's like 200. About 200. So rather than going to the, the window menu and doing that manual thing, if you just click on the buttons here, click on the number, you can actually just adjust from there. Okay, then you can move it down. So there's the same model, but now on the graphical page and now menu, analyze graph, minimum. Choose a point before, a point after. So according to our model, the minimum house price was around that time. 
give or take a bit, of course, because it is just a model. All right. Thank you for listening. That's been Ken Stewart here broadcasting on TIinspire.com. <laughs> Please like. <laughs> oh, no, I don't subscribe. I've got like eight subscribers to the Ken Stewart YouTube channel. That might double now, though, might it? <laughs>